Have you got any labels, please? Has <laughs> anyone got a pen? Ladies and gentlemen, Virgin Atlantic would like to take this opportunity to welcome on board some of the stars from the BBC television hit series Grange Hill, who are on board our flight today to travel to America to take part in an anti-drugs campaign after the success of their hit record, Just Say No. We'd like to take this opportunity of wishing you a very pleasant journey on board. campaign in Britain has been a great success so I only hope by making this trip it's going to put it in a wider perspective and get the message across even more. The people that we left behind obviously they were a bit upset but um, they can see, they realise that um, it's helping other people and by just letting us go they don't mind because they can see the reason behind it. I don't know, I've never been there myself but you know, people say it's nice. I mean I hope that people will know what we're actually trying to do over there. Well, I hope to um, meet everybody else and find out their opinion sort of on, on drugs and the rest of it and just see what other people think as well. I hope that if it gets out to people who are taking drugs, I hope it, it will help them see that people are trying to help them. Well, I think America's going to be here. I don't know, I'm looking forward to New York. Yeah, I've been there before as well. Um, I'm looking forward to New York because that's like my favourite city outside London. I hope that the trip will be of international benefit so that everybody sees that it's just not the Grain Chill kids that are trying to just say no, but it's everybody, it's international. I hope we do get the message across, the just say no message. I hope we can get it across to Americans. Well, obviously, the record was a great success in England and it's got to a really lot of kids and they've took notice of it. So hopefully, uh, we'll have the same appeal in America and get to more kids. So they'll all just, just say no. WKYS, Washington, D.C. I'm Candy Shannon. Partly sunny the rest of this afternoon, although there is a slight chance of a shower or a thunderstorm. Highs in the low to mid 70s. Well, I appreciate all of you joining us here today to kick off Just Say No Week. What we've got to do now is make certain that we continue to give our young people, like the ones with us here today, the support and backing they need to just say no. To drugs. There's someone else here who shares these sentiments. She was a favorite of mine even before she got involved in this issue. <laughs> However, I will have to confess that she's made me such a proud husband in these last few years. Nancy was and still is the motivational force behind the Just Say No movement. And now I'll sign the proclamation. they wanted to do a special TV show called Just Say No. And that's why they're in America today. Now let's give an applause to our visitors from England. I'd like to ask Lee McDonald to come over. Lee? Lee, these are the students of Brent elementary school and they want to welcome you to America and we're so thrilled that you're involved in Just Say No. And what we'd like to ask you to do is tell them a bit about your, your soap opera. Thank you. Thanks a lot for inviting us. Now I've been introduced officially and we're really honored to be here and we love America. And we'd just like to say thank you very much and just say no. I mean, if one of your friends were on drugs when you get older, what would you do? 
Yeah. You wouldn't take one up because you don't need them. You would avoid that person. Yeah. Wouldn't you try and help them solve the problem? I would say well, I would help that person, but if they asked me to to take drugs myself, I would say no. Yeah. Do you think it'd be easy for you to say no? I have known, yeah, I have known some people, but not anymore. Have you ever taken a drug? No, never. Never. The only way we've told people not to take drugs is through the video and through the television programme that we do in England, but not person to person, no. Thanks for spending the time with us. I'm happy to. Hi, Ricky. Good to see you. I'm Luke. Hi. 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 Good to see you. Let's sit down. Happy to have you all here. What is your job as patron of the Just So No campaign? What is my job? Yeah, what does it involve? Well, it involves trying to get more people, young people, involved with, the, with the joining Just Say No clubs and forming Just Say No clubs and becoming more knowledgeable about drugs. What is that, in schools and the youth clubs? Or is it just... Schools and uh, anywhere. <laughs> anywhere. And what do you expect to uh, come out of the Just Say No week? What do you expect? I hope more, more people joining, more young people joining uh, the Just Say No clubs and, and forming more, more Just Say No clubs, hopefully. Since the Just, just Say No campaign started, has the majority of people who have the sort of problem, has it increased or decreased? It's decreased in certain areas with certain drugs, and it's increased in others, sadly. Do you find that your task has become increasingly different as the years have gone on? I guess it's become difficult only because, more difficult because I've grown more aware of how, how dangerous this, this problem is. And we're talking about our next generation, aren't we? We're talking about you all. Uh, you're, you're going to be the ones who are going to inherit the world and run the world. And we don't want you running the world <laughs> drugged out. <laughs> you know, we want you clear-eyed and clear-minded. And I think that's... That's, uh, I've, I've become more and more aware of that. Do you find it a tough job? Yes, but, but very rewarding. Yeah. Very rewarding. What feedback do you actually get from, you know, what, what feedback do you get from just saying no? Like, do you get any um, response from people? Oh, yes. As a result lots, of it? Lots. From, certainly from parents. Yeah. yeah. Uh, lots from parents who are, I mean, as I, I'm sure you know, what it does to the um, relationships of children and parents is, is terrible, really terrible. It just tears them apart. Uh, so I've had a lot of response from the parents and from the children. I Some, don't... you know, many, many, many of the children who are, in a sense, crying out for help, for somebody to help them, for somebody to show them what to do. Mrs. Reagan, as you probably know, we made a record. It's the Just Say No record, and we'd like to give it to you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Just Say No. Just Say No. Just Say No to Drugs, that is. The theme and song are American, but the singers are British actors. The cast of a popular children's television series aired on the BBC. The anti-drug song was a hit in Britain, reaching the top ten on British pop charts. Today, the teenage stars brought their just saying on message. One thing I realised from the American kids is they know a lot more about it yeah. than uh, the English, because they're taught it. Mm. it. It's on their curriculum at school. And a girl said to me that um, they'd already been approached, and I mean, they're only 
between the ages of 10 to 12. And um, she said that she was going into this shop and a man outside it um, came up to her and asked her. And um, she said that she was taught before just to walk away, not even to say anything to him because it would just encourage him. So she did. Most of the kids said the video had a really good effect, especially with a, a schools programme doing it and kids because this is the first time kids have been involved in the Just Say No campaign. They um, compared it to fame. They thought it was like fame so much. Did. Yeah. at 88 on your AM dial, WCBS, New York. television show on BBC. They produced a record that has the has gotten to five on the charts in England. They're here with us today. Here it is. Just say no. TV show out here? Yeah. What's Thank, it you Brewster. Thank you, Brewster. What's it all about? Huh? What's it all about? It's about a band of kids that finds an empty apartment. She goes in and a grumpy old man finds her and he adopts her. They have a wonderful relationship. Great. How long has it been going on? Two years. This is our third year. Soleil Moonfryer plays a character called Punky Brewster Nine in the show of the same name. Um, it's all about an abandoned child who gets up to all sorts of mischief. And uh, what Sole, the actress, is doing is um, supporting the drugs campaign and doing a lot of charity work for it. She's actually the national chair kid of the Just Say No clubs. And the um, marvellous thing about it is all kids relate to her. They love the country. She's very well known. And um, she's, I think she's the ideal person to front the campaign. Just Say No campaign is better run with children or with adults, and why? Oh, it's with children, because cause adults come, like, pushers come to children to give them the drug. Yeah. And, you know, children can relate to children better than adults can most of the time. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. What do you think of Punky Brewster, is it? Is she, she, do you think nice she puts over the message? Yes, yeah, it was nice for her to come. What other people in America are doing things for, like, to help with the drug problem. Say no. Bill Cosby, it's, it's so many, you can't name them all. Really, yeah. Do you have set lessons in school that you learn about drugs yeah. that teachers you? Yeah, we have um, health education. Yeah? yeah. And they, school. Teach you, they teach you what kind of side effects you, you can have when you use drugs. Are the school, is the school involved in just say no? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 
And what message would you give to the British kids if someone approached them? Just, Just say no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Denise Austin from the Today Show. She's going to do rock aerobics and she wants all of you to join in with her. If your body's in good shape, you'll feel good. So you don't need drugs to feel good. You can make your body feel good. So everybody knows a demonstration of rock aerobics to get fit to fight drugs. Woo! First Lady of the United States and Honorary Chairman of Just Say No, Mrs. Nancy Reagan. Thank you. And welcome to the White House. You know, I've talked to a lot of young people all around the world who've used drugs and they're very unhappy. They said they wish they had never started taking drugs. They told me how hard it was to get off of them. And if they could, they tell every person in the world to just say no to drugs. I want you to imagine just how loud it would sound if all the children in the world shouted just say no at the same time. That's how loud I want you to say it if someone offers you drugs. So let's practice saying, just say no. What should you do when someone offers you drugs? Just say no! What will you do when someone offers you drugs? Just say no! I can't hear you, louder. Three people at today's rally are with us now in the studio. They are Soleil Moon Fry. Fr Fry. Uh, she's from the television program Punky Brewster. Lee McDonald is a member of the popular British program Grange Hill. And former Olympic gymnast Denise Austin welcome you all to Live at Five. Soleil, you are the national chair child for Just Say No. How did you get involved in this? Well, um, a year and a half ago, Nancy Reagan asked me if I could be the chair spokesman. I said, sure. You now there's thousands upon thousands. Lee, I would assume that... Uh, Britain has as much of a drug problem as we do. Um, I'm not really sure because uh, in this country a lot of the kids know about drugs at early, earlier age. In Britain the drug problem is sort of from 16 year olds upwards but they should um, there should be more campaigns in Britain like this one today which was a great success. I understand there's some sort of event at Yankee Stadium tonight That's I know fair. nothing about it. Someone tell me what it is. Uh, Soleil? I'm gonna go on the stage in the middle in the middle of the field. I'll just tell everybody to just say no. Tonight we're pleased to welcome a group of determined and committed young people who are bound to refuse offers of drugs and alcohol by saying no. Nine members of the Green Hill cast, BBC's most popular children's TV show, and our chairman for tonight, the star of NBC's Punky Brewster series, Soleil Moon Fry. Let's welcome these Just Say No representatives. Now I'd like to read a pledge. I know who I am. I want to stay healthy and happy. I don't need drugs and alcohol. I can help my friends say no to drugs and alcohol. And when someone offers us drugs, just say no. 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 A 
I think America's realistic, especially New York, because, I don't know, just walking around the town has just hit me. Like, it's, I don't know, it's not, it's not like I'd expect it to be like, it's rougher and it's more down to earth, I think. Everything sort of made me look at it in a different way, but I think the best thing was well, meeting the children. I think they were really good and they know so much and they taught me so much and it was very rewarding. I think um, the Just Say No itself has got around a lot and I think it's gone quite well. I think they should do something like we've been doing in America, in England. We should have more. The American campaign has had an effect on the, on the uh, problem. Um, I think there's about over 500 Just Say No clubs and with all kids involved. And Britain is just lacking in that sort of um, support. And I think we should definitely learn a lesson from that. The baseball game we went and saw was um, the Yankees, New York Yankees. Um, the stadium was really big. Going out onto the field was like if you was playing at an FA Cup final and you go out and the crowd was there, which was really nice. I enjoyed the baseball game. That was good. Everybody's such a good atmosphere. and. There's no violence afterwards, not like football. Um, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed the rally in Prospect Park. I think that went really well. That was really good. I think all in all that the campaign has gone really well. It's a lot of response. I thought a really good thing was the way that the kids you know, at Prospect Park were really involved in the campaign. Like they were enjoying themselves. Um, and they really they knew a lot about the campaign. They knew about um, drugs. They'd obviously been taught a lot from school on that. And you just, you don't get that in Britain. You, I mean, the Just Say No campaign in Britain hasn't really taken off in that way yet. And so I'd like to see that happen more. I really think the campaign is going to, you know, it's really doing well. And it, I think it's going to improve as well. It's, I think it's always going to get better because there's always going to be more people come along and joining it. And it'd be just really good if all this can spread to England and everywhere else. I enjoyed the Prospect Park a lot because that made me realise how much people were really into Just Say No. And I enjoyed going to the school in Washington because um, everybody was so polite, the kids were so intelligent and they seemed to know a lot about it. And it seemed that they really did, the teachers and everybody involved really did put a lot of emphasis on Just Say No. Because they like our accents as well, that, was, that went down really well. And so speaking to the kids, they wasn't frightened to speak to us because they wanted us to speak. And then once we, once we started speaking to them, we had a big impact. That went down really well and they enjoyed what they heard about Britain. Well, when we went to meet Mrs Reagan, who is the patron of Just Say No, that was, um, I was a bit scared actually because we went in and I thought it was going to be really formal. We sit down, ask one question, then she went. But she was good. She came in and asked us questions, which made us feel relaxed. And uh, that was an experience in itself, just sitting listening to uh, Nancy Regan, which is you don't normally do, and, and that's nice to do, especially in the White House. And we all learnt a lot from that, and hopefully she learnt a bit from us. In America at the moment, it's a, a massive, big thing to say no, and it makes the kids feel proud to say no. Whereas in Britain, a lot of the kids feel uneasy if they're offered drugs and, and they're not sure what to do. Whereas if uh, most of the kids, or a lot of kids from schools in Britain, got together, and then they felt proud to just say no. I'm sure there won't be so, so much of a big problem in Britain.